Good morning and Merry Christmas and welcome to Old School Studios. Snowing in April. Alright, so we're almost done with this Unit 3. Getting very close to the nitty gritty here. So I'm going to get this, uh, I'm going to move the toilet right here in the hallway for the time being. I'm going to scrape all this disgusting caulking off around the tub, remove this, remove this, remove the soap dish, continue scraping all this residual schmutz off the tub, clean the tub, wipe all this tile down with lacquer thinner and I could put this tub surround up so I'm gonna get busy with that now alright here's the tools I got a couple of chisels a drywall trowel a razor <laughs> and we're gonna try to get anything lumpy in of uh, mold and stuff off of this. So what I'm going to do is wipe this tub surround all this tile down with lacquer thinner and get the soap scum off it so my new uh, tub surround sticks correctly. And I'll also go around and wipe all the tile in the rest of the bathroom. Like this has to come off here where somebody um, painted the tile. So we want to get that all cleaned up and make it look nice, um, get the tub, all the soap scum off the tub, and uh, <laughs> we're going to use lacquer thinner, and um, let me get done with that and I'll be back at you. All cleaned up with lacquer thinner, I, I took my uh, back, the ba this is the back panel of the tub surround, and I laid it up there where I want it, and I put a pencil mark, a light pencil mark up and around so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get my caulking gun and I'm gonna put this Loctite tub surround adhesive on here all the way around and then once I got the caulking up there I'm gonna take my trowel my notch trowel and I'm gonna trowel it so it's uniform on every tile up above and I'm gonna stick this tub surround into it so let me get started with that and I'll show you as I get it done. All right. So we just start by laying it on around the perimeter because that's where uh, we really want good adhesion. We want good adhesion everywhere, but Tube. They don't 
sell this stuff in a bucket or a bigger tube. So you got it literally takes me like eight tubes of this stuff at five dollars a tube to put up a tub surround, but okay, I need one more tube. Get the trowel now. I like to use one of these rollers. Usually use it for laminate. Laminate roller. Alright, I lay it right in the bottom. Lay it in, find my lines. Find my lines. And send it. Alright, roughly set it in place. And then get my little roller. And roll it in. Uh -huh. 
All right, that's on there. Now, it has a plastic protecting film. You can pull the plastic protecting film off. And we'll get ready for the next piece. I want to wipe that schmutz off there right now though, so I'm going to go get that done. Okay, so now I'm going to work this wall. And I put the panel up, and I like my panel to be even, man, come on, focus, with the edge of the tub for the most part. And from there, I could trace around this now. So I know where to put my glue. your pencil line let it sit flat on the factory edge right on the tub and send it send it This is the back side of the corner, and I want to put a bead on this little edge all the way down, uninterrupted. So if water gets behind there, it's like a dam. So you put an uninterrupted bead. Why am I not focusing? See the same thing on here, put a bead all the way, uninterrupted. put dollops on these and they squish in and So you lay it in there, and then uh, at one spot here where it came out, I don't like that. <coughs> All right, get your roller, and you want to roll the seam. Oh. Roll the seam. And the flat spots where you put the dollops. And you're going to want to come and check this every like 10 minutes or so for the first hour. You don't want any, any of these seams to come popping free. I got some glue schmutz here. So basically why you put the edge to edge, you put that full bead here so if water gets in here there's glue back there that's not going to let the water go. It's like creating a dam. It's not going to let the water go any further. Squish your dollops in. It's 
Stand back. Stand back. Alright, see that's how we're looking. I'm going to get a rag and I'm going to clean a little bit of those schmutz spots. Okay, so on this side, where these tiles fell down, I'm not going to waste my gray and white tiles. So, down the boiler room I have some pink ones and green ones and blue ones. So I'm going to come and put like a tile, a tile, a tile, a tile, tile, tile. And I'm going to fill this in so I don't have like movement behind my plastic. So let me go round those up, I'll be back and I'll show you how I glue some just blank tiles in behind to fill in the gaps. Alright, I'm going to switch my caulk out now to heavy duty liquid nails. And uh... Alright, these are just filler tiles. Some are tan, some are pink, they're, I don't know where they came from, they came with the building, but they don't match anything that I've seen here. So, I put some liquid nails on here. And, uh... Just fillers. So we don't have a dent here. Alright, so I got crudely tiles glued around the area so we don't have a bad dent. So, next thing I'm going to do is make my level mark off of this corner and get measurements from my level mark to the center of that, from my level mark to the center of that, and then coming up to the center and coming up to the center. And I'll transfer those dimensions onto that last piece and get my holes drilled. So when I glue this, it goes right over the copper and the uh, the water um, handle. All right, let me get back at you. Transferred my marks with a one-inch spade bit. I'm going to send it. This is for the tub spout. Okay, so now, normally on this one I use a bigger hole saw, and it's not in my truck, it's, so I'll trim around this with a... I'll trim around this with a um, pair of tin snips to make that hole a little bigger. Alright, be right back at ya. Alright, so this thing is what comes with the kit and uh, that's the size of my other hole saw that I don't have with me. So I'm going to trace this and I'll trim that out with the uh, tin snips. Okay, so now I could take this into the bathroom, hold it up against the wall, and uh, make my marks that I need to glue. So, I have a handful of trash here. Oh, there goes my pencil. And uh, I'll be right back at you in the bathroom.
All right, here we have it. Tub surrounds up. <laughs> I'm going to grab the uh, hardware for this and put the hardware in place. And uh, we're going to have to solder a spout on here. Eh, 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 so I can screw that on. So let me get set up for that. Alright. Alright, so the next thing is um cutting this to the right length, this copper, in soldering on the male end so I could screw on the tub spout. So let me gear up for that. Okay, we're at the point now where we're calculated, cleaned up, fit, fluxed, ready to solder. So, what I'm going to do here is uh, try to prop up this camera here in the little tripod on the corner. Like so. I'm going to take this wet rag and I'm going to wrap it around here so we don't put any heat towards the plastic. You see this still? Alright. Now, remember, we're always going to give a little toot toot of heat on the pipe and then the fitting. down for a second. We had water present because I turned the water on to show you that it worked. So that was a mistake. I should have just soldered this thing on first. All right, let me get my tools out of here. All right, this will cool it down. Remember, wipe your flux so the pipe don't turn green. And uh, get your solder out of the tub. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna let this cool a second. I'm gonna put some liquid Teflon on here and we'll uh, screw the spout. All right, we have the Ote Great White Joint Compound Pipe Dope Liquid Teflon. You take a dablet of that and you put it on the threads. This comes in that, that white tape also. There's a time and place for white tape. I prefer this stuff actually. Been using it for years. Works like a champion. Now you can take this. This See this has threads down in there? It threads right on there. So when you're calculating this you kind of have to like be accurate and uh, I'll try to get one more rotation out of it. There we go, right there. So now let me wipe up this schmutz and flux. Tomorrow I will bring white mold resistant silicone and uh, go around here with white mold resistant silicone and uh, 
That'll tighten that right up. So let's give this a test drive. So we got our water and shower. And voila. Let's go look on the back and make sure we don't have any drips. Here's the back side. I will put silicone right around here and I'll put silicone around here. No leaks, no drips. Each one of these brand new uh, fixtures comes with a sticker and it has the model number and I always stick them on here so in the future if I have to make repairs I know what exactly it is. Or a stranger, you know, somebody else. I, I know what it is. And also, these spigots right here, they come with a sticker. Oh, I can't get the door open. And I put the sticker right there. So, if there's anyone making repairs in here in the future, they can get the right parts. And just like that, she's put together. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do Actually, it's almost five o'clock, so I'll probably do it tomorrow, but we'll do the toilet. We'll finish all these tiles, put these in. Thank you for watching Old School Studios. Please hit like and subscribe. Have a good day.